Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do green screens so then you can overlay videos over other videos or images and you could get cool green screen effects like this. So let's start off with a very simple one. So we're going to go ahead and go to our green screen clip. And before that, what you want to do is make sure you have your clips on your timeline and you want the green screens to go on top. And then whatever you have at the bottom, whether it's video or image, put that on the second track. And if you need to add tracks, you can simply right click on your mouse, add a video track, or you could go up here and do that as well. So once you have your clip on here, make sure it's selected, then go to filters. And we're going to start off with the simple one. Just go ahead and do a search for chroma under your filters. And there's going to be three different chroma. This chroma key is simple, advanced, and hold. And the one we really want to look at is simple, and then we're going to look at advanced. So let's start off with the chroma key simple. So this one is by far the easiest one. And so it already has a default key color. And if you want, you could choose one from these uh, basic colors or uh, a variety of colors here. Or you could also use the color picker. And then you could choose the color from your video clip. And then all you have to do is move this distance so then you can remove the edging around it. And so if we go down here and zoom in, you get a better look on how well your green screen is working. So you can move over here. So let's just uh, put that back to normal. So you could kind of see some green there. And if you adjust the distance, it will reduce it. But if you go too much, it'll go directly into your image, which isn't what we want. But I think this is the easiest way. And Shotcut did a pretty good job in removing that. And so now if we watch it, I think the green screen looks pretty good. And obviously you could also adjust this video clip as you need it beyond doing the chroma. So now let's go to one that's a little bit more advanced, this guy right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this clip and I'm going to remove everything here. Let's just start over from the beginning. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our simple chroma key. And this one is fairly simple as we saw before. And I'm also going to zoom in. And if you can see here, there's still definitely some green around him. And as you saw earlier, if I keep increasing the distance, it actually go into the image. And so I think right here, looks pretty good and we could actually watch it right here so I think that looks pretty good but you could definitely see that there's still some green around him and let me go back here a little bit further and we'll just zoom in on the hands so right there there's definitely still some green here not too much but it is noticeable so how would we actually try to fix this well, we could use the more advanced chroma key. So I'm going to uncheck this. And we'll go ahead and add the advanced chroma key. And with this one, you actually have more features that you can use to actually improve the chroma key. So the color space default is red, green, and blue. Or you can use hue chroma intensity. So I'm going to stick with red, green, and blue. And here you could adjust it. There's the red delta. And adjust the green. And also adjust the blue and then other things you can do you can change the shape the default is ellipsoid you can use box and diamond as well so I'm gonna leave it on ellipsoid then the edge the default is slope you can use hard and fat so and then normal and also thin so I found that whenever you are using the hard edge, you're going to get more jaggies, so jagged edges. So it's not going to have a good look. And so just play around with this and then find what works best for you. But I'm going to stick with slope. That seems to work. And you can also increase this as well. Let's see if that looks any better. So here, the edges are still there, but I don't think it's as bad as it was before. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Let's watch this again. 
So that looks a little bit better. Not great. However, um, you can continually adjust this or choose hue chroma key intensity and also adjust these values here as well. So you're going to have to play around with this. However, I think a better method is using a combination of the chroma keys, either simple or advanced, and also the alpha filters. So if we actually use the plus sign here, you can search for alpha channel. So you're going to choose two of them, alpha channel adjust and alpha channel view. So I'm going to go ahead and add both of those filters. So the alpha channel view allows you to actually see the outline of your image. So if you actually went in closer, you could see how it looks and also whether or not the edges are harsh or soft. So that's a nice way to look at it. But more importantly is the alpha channel adjust. So in this case, you could actually improve and refine this even further. And you could either do this with the simple chroma key or advanced. I'm going to leave it with the simple one because I think that works pretty well. And so here you could choose the different modes. There's shave, which just makes it softer, as you can see there. Then there's shrink hard. So really jaggy edges. Then we have shrink soft, which looks better because it's not as hard on the edges. You have grow hard and grow soft. It's a little softer, as the title suggests. There's threshold. So you can adjust the amounts on these as well. And there's also blur, which doesn't look too great on this. So at least for this, I think shave looks best. So we're watching that. And at the same time, you can zoom out or zoom back in in this case. So that one does look better, but we're still seeing some green here. But this is where you're going to have to spend some time, um, depending on how advanced the chroma keys are and how perfect you want it to look. You could just mess with these values right here uh, for these filters. And so at least for me, I just use the alpha channel adjust and the simple chroma key, and it works for most things. But as stated earlier, you could definitely spend more time adjusting all these values and then get the green screen look that you want. And so if you actually had any thoughts on the green screen tutorial or any other ways in which you do green screens, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you wanted to see more of my shortcut tutorials and tips, I will leave the playlist in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side.